listen, you gotta do, you gotta do this DIY. You just gotta do it. Okay? I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do this DIY. Oh man, this is too good. I have worn these pants three times this week already and I just can't get enough of them. They are so cool. So if this is your first video, my name is Orly. This is the DIY designer. I release a brand new video every week focused on customization, personal style, discovering your unique style language so that you know exactly what you need to feel your best in your physical appearance or whether it's figuring out how to DIY and customize the items in your closet, thrift upcycle, styling hacks, all sorts of content, that is really what I'm all about and today fits right in with that. So I got a really cute email from a girl named Jenny and she was basically like, I found the most perfect pair of pants. They speak my style language, they are perfect for me, but they're like 200 bucks at free people, help. And they're very cool. They were like these pearlescent metallic glitter cargo pants. And I just loved everything about them. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Now let's talk about the cargos. You wanna get a pair of cargos that are gonna be pretty soft. You don't want the material you're starting with to be so stiff that by the time we add a little bit of paint, it's just like really, really crunchy and aggressive. I'm gonna link the exact paint that I use. It is the only paint that I recommend to do this. It is a fabric paint, super high quality. It's one of my favorite brands. And so it's gonna create a really luxe, looking effect. One of the main benefits of having your own YouTube channel and your own brand is that your brand can sponsor your YouTube channel. I'm sponsoring myself today. Rocknot is sponsoring this video and it's because I wanted to share with you this bag that I like painstakingly designed sample after sample, tweak after tweak until I got this epic bag. It's called the Rocknot Belt Bag and it is a three in one belt bag. It comes with a matching belt that has a ton of holes for customization. You can wear this just like a regular fanny pack. High-waisted, low-waisted, whatever, right? So we've got that option. You can wear it as a crossbody bag like this. The whole thing is like butter. I mean, it's just heavenly. And so it's really comfortable to wear. You could throw it in the back. So you just have this like kind of almost like a harness, which looks super cool. You can also just wear it like a shoulder bag, a regular purse, just like this. Every other bag has either clasps or belt loops. So I designed a bag that has both. The clasps hide out of the way when you're not using them and the belt loops are wide enough to fit every single strap in the collection. Shoulder strap. I added an extender if you need that. Those are available on the website. You would attach it to the clasps. And now I could wear this crossbody with this strap with your full bling. And you know in the sun what this sucker is gonna do. A crossbody strap. I love this one so much. You're gonna put it through the belt loops and you just put it this way and attached in the back like that. Same thing, we can wear a crossbody. You could even wear it as a fanny pack with a rhinestone strap as you belt. I gotta say, it's pretty fun. Almost every fanny pack that I had was flat on the bottom, it didn't hold that much. So I added these little seams here. So the amount of stuff that you can fit in this is amazing. You can fit your phone, sunglasses, AirPods, keys, uh, a wallet, lipstick, you can fit so much stuff in this. So as an everyday bag, it's really gonna work for you. It's soft, it's smushy. I mean, it is one bag that literally can continue to serve you. So I hope that you guys check it out. I'm gonna give you a discount code. And it's gonna give you 10% off this bag. It's only gonna be active for one week. So if you're seeing this after September 3rd, the code has been deactivated. However, there is a constant promotion on the website that if you buy a purse strap, and the bag, the bag is 10% off because they're meant to be worn together. Okay, let's get into this DIY. It is super fun and I'm just so into it. Alrighty, here are the cargos that I used. If they are still available, I'll link them down below. And then this is the paint that I used. I ended up buying this size, which I believe is an eight ounce jar, and that's what you're gonna need. You are gonna need this much paint. It's a pearlescent white with a super, super fine glitter, like really, really fine, so it just becomes this beautiful dusting. It's amazing. That little jar that I started with, I watered down by 50%, and I started buffing it in with a paintbrush. It was pretty clear early on that the paintbrush technique was not gonna work. No matter how fast I moved, no matter how fast I buffed, you were seeing the paint strokes, which is not the effect. We want this to look like an overall effect as though this fabric was a pearlescent metallic fabric then sewn into pants. So what I did is I grabbed a continuous spray water bottle, watered down the paint a little bit and tried spraying it. Really quickly, that did not work. It was already too thick. So. I added more water, tried it again, still too thick. So then I thought, all right, maybe I'm just gonna like pour it on and sort of buff in this watered down paint. And right around here, I realized if all of the pants were damp, that would actually blend better. So I scrapped it right away, threw it in the wash and took them out when they were still damp. And now I'm gonna give this a shot. I grabbed a little squeezy bottle and I added a little bit more paint because I had watered it down like crazy amount in order to use that uh, mister. And I started squeezing it on. 
this is my first go of it. So I'm getting a sense of like, how can I create a blended effect? How can I create something that looks overall metallic and pearlescent and not splotchy and not painted and not streaky? This is what I figured out really worked. Spraying a good amount or squeezing rather, a good amount of paint directly onto the surface using a combination of my hands to blend it in, plus a paintbrush that I would dip into water to buff out any areas that looked like they got a little bit more paint and especially on the edges, because as you layer the next coat on top of it, you want to buff between your old section and your new section. So that the entire thing is looking like one even coat and you're not seeing any beginning and end. You're going to do this for the entire front and the entire back. Again, spraying it on, squeezing it on, using your hands, using a paintbrush and buffing it in. Remember that anytime you're doing a front and a back, you always have like side seams. So I split open the legs and right now I'm working in the inseam, going all the way up through the crotch and I'll do the same thing on the outer seams. Now, one thing I just want to acknowledge is my hands. I like working with my hands. I like painting with my hands. I like making a mess. I am not the kind of like DIY or crafter with a pretty manicure and like gloves and like a protected surface. I make a mess and I enjoy that. You can of course use gloves. I don't know if you're gonna get as good of a blending technique if you have gloves on your hands, but of course you can can do that or you can just use the paintbrush and skip the whole hands part of it. When I was done, I slid it into the sun to let it dry and then I figured the next day I would kind of take a look. When I took a look the second day, the one thing I loved the most was the pockets, like the cargo pockets on the side, the back pockets and the front pockets. I gave a little extra paint to. I thought I wanted them to pop. I actually loved the way those looked more than the rest. So I decided, ooh, this can take more paint. Like this whole thing can take more paint. So I did a second coat over the entire thing, meaning the pockets got a second coat as well. The next day I looked at it and I'm like, well, dang it, I like it even more now. So I ended up giving these pants three coats of this light watered down paint. It ended up giving an effect that is over, overall so gorgeous and so pearlescent and much more saturated than I had anticipated, but I just kept loving it the more I was adding. So I just decided to use the entire jar until it was done and continuously paint in more and more every day. Now I let it hang to dry for a little while here until it was totally dry. And then I threw it in the dryer at the highest setting for 30 minutes. That is step one in heat setting it. Make sure the paint is fully dry, but the heat set is very, very important in making this machine washable. So throw it in the dryer at the highest setting. That's gonna do part of it. And then you're gonna use a thin cloth and you're gonna press it. You wanna press each section for like 10 to 15 seconds. If you've got the patience for more than that, do it. You can literally leave it, walk away, come back. You wanna make sure that you are fusing the paint into this fabric so that not only does it set, but it softens so that this feels um, it feels like it was always on this and it doesn't feel like some crispy, stiff pair of pants. Now, this is what it looks like. You're gonna see at the very end when I model it, I actually think that the camera had a really hard time capturing the amount of iridescence that this actually has. But you can see here, that's the original color on the inside. That's the original color. So all of this is 100% pearlescent, layer after layer after layer, that makes it almost look white. But the pearlescent in person is absolutely sick. It is so beautiful. The color is so intense. The shine is so intense. But for some reason, the video at the end just does not, does not show it the way that I wanted. So I wanted to make sure that you guys could see it here. But look at that. Boo! So good.